Hello, welcome back to Tank Talks. Today we are here at Reef Monster in Singapore, 183 Jalan Pelikat. And uh, it's a relatively new shop. It's been around for about a month and a half, two months now. And we're going to here just kind of browse and see what they have to offer so that you, know, you guys can have a look. So the moment you enter the shop, that's where the, the shop is. We have nice display of kind of setups that they sell. And then we have the SPS corals tanks here. We have the LPS ones here. And pretty giant anemones. We'll take close-ups for you later. And towards the back of the shop, there are more nano displays and uh, a, a small uh, offering of um, what they have for, for livestock. I think uh, the way the way the boss here runs it is quite interesting and we'll talk to him about it later. Um, but yeah, let's move on. Okay, so we're right by the Anemone exclusive tank. There's a whole bunch of anemones here. There are different morphs of bubble tips and carpets with red carpet, red and green basically, but really big in size and there are a whole bunch of snowflake ones over here. Um, I think it's also important to have an enemy exclusive tank because enemies can bomb the tank if they get caught and stuff so there's some um, precautions to prevent that from happening but um, yeah So right now we're here by uh, this nicely kind of set up uh, coral tanks we have the SPS ones here and LPS over here um, there's a nice collection of I, I can't even begin to name the species, so I'm not going to go into that. But if you can, let us know in the videos, uh, in the comment section. Um, on, in this tank, we have acans, we have black calls, we have zoa, cyanarinas, gonios, and very nice looking pratas and trekkies here. So if you're looking for some rainbows, I suggest you check this out. Pratas, I mean, not rainbows. Um, but yeah, the gonios are great too. I, I have a couple of frags in my tanks are from here. So, and they're all healthy, um, pets free. So I, I recommend it. Okay, so now we're towards the, the back of the shop. Um, this is his displays here. Usually shops have kind of large displays and cool, but I kind of like this display. There are three displays all plumbed to the same sum. So that's, I, I like that. It's very clean. It's very uh, very interesting. And the, you know, the equipment here is like kind of showing you, you don't have to go balls to the wall for like those really expensive stuff. And you can still achieve really good results here. Um, I'm curious to see as we go on how these tanks kind of, kind of pan out. And, uh, but they're nice sizes. If people ever wonder what can you do with a small size, there are plenty of things to do. Kind of boys on the escape. Um, and then we have here in the back where all the fishes are. Um, so what he does, which I kind of appreciate, is that if you see here, like, there are some release dates on some of the fishes, like movies, I guess. But some people, I mean, some stores, they bring in the fish and, you know, they immediately put it out for sale, which is, which is fine. You can do that. Um, but sometimes for certain fish that are slightly pricier or slightly more sensitive, I prefer the shop kept it for a while. And, um, you know, there's some responsibility here. It's like, okay, these fish are going to take a little bit before we release them. And no success chance of that going up. Of you keeping it at home is usually greater. Um, but yeah, so there are flame angels here, a flame hawk, uh, there's a red sea sail fin, there's some talbot damsels, spring ray damsels, and some powder blues. So um, I think there are more shipments going to be coming in over the weeks, so be sure to check in with the boss here and see what's, what's what. Okay, so now we're on the second floor of uh, Reef Monster, and you know, I'm going to show you all the dry goods we have here. Over here, you have the lights, wave makers, uh, pumps, all stuff you can think of, and here we have, you know, a good range of products from Brightwell, Sadifer, Aquaforest, Maxpack, um, the Hannah stuff as well. So I think some stuff I personally use are Hikari Seaweed Extreme, different sizes. There are TDO palettes here. There's a NLS, New Life Spectrum, Ocean Nutrition, a whole bunch of stuff here. And of course, the whole Brightwell range. You have Micro Back to Clean, Starter XL, XLM, Back to 7, or stuff for starting out a new tank. And of course, very trusty Hannah Checkers, Phosphorus, Alkalinity. I'm not sure it has the other one here, but now yeah, there's also aqua forest stuff at the bottom and over here we have in the fridge we have frozen mysis your hikari brine shrimp and mysis as well and down here i believe there's phytoplankton um uh, he i think he crouches himself and you know some some uh we've been talking about it in some of the group chats here in the singapore chat on um efficacy and the point of dosing live phyto, whether it's for you, whether it's not for you. Um, you know, there's been some models made by some really cool people in the chat. Um, shout out to them. Um, 
But you know, if you have done it yourself or you have it's your field of expertise, maybe you can let us know what you think about about dos dosing it. So far, I'm a believer, but um, beyond just anecdotal evidence of what I have at home, I can't really go beyond that since I am not a scientist. <laughs> so this is uh, our little tour of uh, Reef Monster here at 183 Jalan Pelikat at the, the promenade here in the, the um, say Aukang Serangoon area. So if you're in the area, drop by. Uh, the boss is a nice guy um, and get what you need. I personally come here for some stuff whenever I need things. It's not that far from my house. If some of the shops nearby don't carry them. Um, so yeah, it's a new shop. Show your support. We always want to support local LFS, um, be it new or existing ones. So every industry needs competition to stay relevant and stay good for the consumers. So yeah, be sure to show your support and let us know what you think. Bye.